this is Harry Judd for Boxing Social in association with Brett Fred and with the world and European amateur champion and Commonwealth game star going to be representing Team England this year, Gemma Richardson. Nine days to go, Gemma. How do we feel? Good. I'm excited. I think especially now it's getting close and it's getting more real. Obviously, we've done the kitting out day now. Um, we're coming to the end of like the hard, hard training. We're starting to like taper a little bit. This is our last week. I mean, so it's more real now and there's only nine days to go. So I'm looking forward just to get in the village and get started. Can you take me through the um, the moment you got the call up? Yeah, so I was at home and I was just, I was actually packing for camp. So it was like 20 minutes before I was leaving to go to Sheffield. And I got a phone call from um, a coach called Graham. And I'm like, he don't normally ring me. Like he hadn't rang me for ages and I've, and stuff so I was thinking oh I didn't know if it was maybe about my elbow or just something so that I answered it and like when he told me I just I just started shaking like because I wasn't expecting it like I think I was the one person on the team that wasn't expecting that phone call so like when I got told I was just shaking like and I just cried like I cried my eyes out like just so happy like over the moon and I was just in shock with it so yeah it was probably like a funny phone call for him You've been injured for a while. I, I watched the, the fight where you unfortunately broke your wrist. Um, I think it was in the second round, wasn't it, in, in a European competition. Um, to my knowledge, you've just got back to doing pads, just got back to doing sparring. So was it a surprise that you got the, the call up? Yeah, I think um, I, I genuinely wasn't expecting it. So like when, when the injury happened, I got told you won't be fighting at all this year. I got told by an elbow specialist, like, that's it, like this year's written off. Um, but I've always said that like, I'm going to do everything in my like power to get back to the Commonwealth because I miss the world. I miss other tournaments. But like for some reason, I was at like, the Commonwealth. So I'll be back for it. And I think at the time I was just thinking that more to get me through the rehab and get me through everything and through the injury to try and stay positive. But it was coming close and I was thinking, yeah, like I could be, I'll be back in time. Like, I know I'll be sparring and I know if I do anything, but will they want to take the risk with me not competing for the full year? I'm just going back from an injury. So I just, yeah, wasn't expecting it. But they had obviously had faith in me and they decided to pick me, which was nice. And then, yeah, like since then, my elbows come on load and it's been sound. So touch wood. Yeah. On that. I was at the, the media day the other week at, at GB and you were spying Hannah Robinson. How was it for you getting back in the ring? Yeah, I think it's crazy because I've never had a layoff from boxing like since I was six I've always been in the gym like I've boxed and I've had like a week off and I've always been like even in lockdown like obviously my dad owns my gym at home so I was always like training so to have like six months doing no training no sparring no nothing to go back into the ring you've got ring rust like there is like you can be as fit as you want you can do as many runs as you want as many pads as you want bags as you want that sparring and like fighting fitness is completely different so it took a few weeks to get like my range my sharpness my accuracy it took it like it took a toll I could tell I'd been out for six months obviously I was inspiring girls that have just come back from the world done the ABAs done like competitions but it's what I need as well to get ready so it's good this year is going to be on terrestrial television in front of millions. Um, normally, you watch GB competitions and European amateur championships. It's you know it's all on YouTube on live streams. Has it actually settled in that it, it will probably it will be on you know uh, national television, international, worldwide television? In fact, no, uh, that's the one thing that hasn't actually like set in yet. Like how big of a competition this is, and like how how like major it is, and like the media and like how it just blows up like that. So to actually be on like BBC and like even at the media day they do like all the interviews for like ITV and stuff like it's it's just crazy to know that. And to know that like just family and friends at home normally have to go like a little YouTube link and like it's a crappy little live stream. To know they're actually gonna watch it on like BBC and like proper T V and they can just turn on the T V and my face is gonna be there fighting like it's just it's just mental. Obviously, I've spoken to you before. One that the big goals for you is obviously Paris 2024. Um, will a good Commonwealth Games um, put you in prime spot to be part of that team? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Like, obviously, this is a, this is a good one to get like the the backing up with the, with your profile anyway. The Commonwealth, like, it's a big profile thing. 
um obviously I'm hoping for a medal gold is obviously the aim but I think if I get that it'll help my chances go a bit further there's obviously still like the Europeans this year and there's still so many more competitions for that but I think every every competition is a, a stepping stone towards it so I'd like to think if I do well that there's just increases chances but there's there's lots of things to work towards as well for you've the big moment. GB, sorry you've been at GB for around well around three years now what, what what's it like what what is it to be a part of the team GB squad it's amazing obviously I was there while like the other cycle was there like the Olympic lock so I've seen them them train them do like little competitions and then get picked for the Olympics I was there when that all happened training with them like I was going to America with them um, so I've been on that cycle as when I first joined, as well as this cycle with like the new team. And it's just the one thing that stays the same is the atmosphere in GB. Like we are like family. We, we train with each other and see each other more than like we're at home with our actual friends and family. So like we're with each other day in, day out every week. So you've got to have like that family, you have that banter. It's good atmosphere. Obviously the camps are good. Like you've got the best people, the best coaches, the best S&C running coaches support support staff so like and you also travel abroad all the time so you've literally got the best of everything at GB so it's so nice to be involved in that for so many years already and I'm still young so it's many more years to go. Lots of um, ex-GB fighters look at Caroline Dubois, uh, Caris Archinstall, Lauren Price, people that you spar with, that you trained with have all gone uh, primarily to Sky Sports and Boxer. Um have you been offered any pro contracts since you've been at GB? Not actually. I've had a, I've had a few people message me, um, wanting to train me, wanting to like, let's like, say like this is good. Like if you go pro, we'll like do this, we'll do that. We want you to come here, train here, but never actually, uh, like let's do it. And I think I've always been honest. Like for me, the pro game isn't the right time for me yet, and I'm still got so much to do with amateurs and. I think, obviously, Karis, Lauren, Caroline, they all went at the right time. They did the Olympics. They did everything they wanted to do in the amateurs. So it was the right time for them. So, like, it's good as well because we get to train alongside them. And, like, obviously, Karis and Lauren are still at GB. So they're, like, role models in a way. So, like, if you you can see their, like, process and their journey. And, like, if you've got any questions, they're so, like, obviously, friendly and, like, you've mates with them. So, like, you can ask them and, like, they can help guide you as well and, like, seeing their journey helps you as well but for me I'm just on the amateurs at the minute and when the time when the time's right that's when I'll go pro. You sparred with the likes of Karis and Lauren how how good was it to learn off of those two? Amazing like they're so they're so clever so switched on and like they're so different as well so like sparring the both of them you get so much out of it like Lauren's speed is unbelievable like one minute she's there, one minute she's gone. Carries is so strong and like snappy. So you get a lot out of them spars and like they've been around for years. They've they've done every competition you can think of. They've won major medals. So their knowledge, like their ring craft as well, is just another level. So to be sparring at the likes of them, it's such a confidence boost as well. Because if if you can spar them, like you know, you know you're doing good and like you know you're gonna be fully prepared for whatever competitions you've got coming up. And I want to get your thoughts. One of the biggest, or yeah, one of well, probably the biggest uh, fight of 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 the year is Christian Shields and Savannah Marshall on September tenth. Um, how big is that fight in your eyes? I think it's massive. I think it's one that everyone's been wanting for so long now. There's a lot of hype around it, which is good for women's boxing in general because the more hype around women's boxing, the more people will get involved with it or want to watch it. Will will invest their time into women's boxing, which I think what the sports need, what the sport needs. So, like, for this fight to happen, I think it's going to be a great stepping stone for women's boxing. Um, and I'm excited for it. Like, I think it'll be a good fight. In terms of big in terms of big fights, like the Tyson Fury fights, all the big heavyweight fights, is it on the same wavelength as some of those? I think this one, you know, it's got so much hype, like, Every time you go on social media, it's videos of them like back and forth to each other and everyone's sharing it. So I can't believe how much like hype it's actually got. Like, so I think it could be, you know, and I think if it like they're both put on a great show, which I'm sure they will, I think it'll be up there for like one of the best. Yeah, 
and so it should be as well like girl power <laughs> and also then so what what would your prediction be obviously Marshall you've got a back England like you've got a back your own girl and I just think yeah her all the way like no doubt about it well Gemma thank you very much for talking to Boxing Social we look forward to seeing you in the ring in a few days time at Commonwealth Games 2022 thank you cheers Gemma